Okay, so it took a minute for me to get this LCD display figured out. When I hit the button, you see it goes mode one, mode two, mode three. If I hold the button down, it switches between temp, odometer, and uh, battery voltage. And if I keep holding it down, it will not go into programming mode. So the only way to get it to programming mode is to turn the key off, hold the button down, and flip the key back on, and I can get to programming mode. So P7 is where I can specify that it has three different speeds that should be selectable in mode one, two, and three. And so that's, that's where I got that on there. And now this throttle, it had your normal throttle, three wire throttle hookup. You know, it's got the power ground and then your signal wire. And that came out of harness for the throttle, the twist throttle. It was the green one, white one, and the, the black one coming out of here. And then it had a two wire harness that was just a light blue and a dark blue that was labeled as low speed and high speed. You know, I always thought it was weird it had two wire, but the but the harness coming out of the controller had three wire. It was the black one, this blue one, and this yellow one. Now, this is a controller that came with the Vivor uh, 48 volt upgrade kit, but I'm using a different throttle. So what I did is I just spliced these two lines. This is the, the common wire coming out of the controller into basically the ground wire for the throttle. And then I hooked the dark blue up to the yellow, which ends up being high speed. That's your high speed line for at least for this kit. And then the uh, light blue goes into the dark blue for the low speed line. And now what that ends up letting me do is, that's mode one. That's mode two. That's cooking right there. Alright, and that's how you can hook up the LCD displays for like the Vivor 48 volt kit.